okay so welcome back to my channel and in this video i will explain how you can manually uh, modify the protein or mutate the protein or i can also say engineer a protein uh, to change its activity okay by the help of ucsf chimera and for all my other videos and like all my other videos i will take an example from the research article that we have been studying for a pretty while for the other episodes as well so this is the research article which we have taken as a base to understand the bioinformatics so for this d2 dopamine receptor to interact with this resperidone uh, as you scroll down you will come to know that the amino acid interaction which is taking place with the aspartate 114 is considered to be very important okay so aspartate d 114 is the location so 114 is the number of the amino acid if you replace this amino acid then what will happen to this protein that is the question that we are concerned with okay so uh, if we can manually edit this protein in such a way that we can if we replace this aspartate okay we can modify its activity so that is something that we want to do into this uh, video okay so to engineer this protein or, or to use the word protein engineering over here what we will do is we will replace this amino acid which is d114 and if we replace the uh, amino acid which is over here which is a very crucial amino acid okay uh, if we for instance if we replace it with the identical amino acid like uh, glutamate because aspartate and glutamate fall into the same family uh, of amino acids but uh, then probably the activity of this uh, protein will not change but what if we replace it with some very unusual kind of amino acid which does not have the identical properties to aspartate okay like proline or valine or uh, tryptophan okay so what what will happen so we will try to do that uh, then once you create the modified or the mutated protein or the engineered protein you can perform the docking based on my previous tutorial videos as well okay so in this video i will only be focusing on how to manually replace this amino acid inside the given protein with the help of ucsf chimera right so i have what i have done is that i have already opened the protein of our choice which is 6cm4 okay so i will download this pdb file okay and this will be the uh, episode 6 so i will create a new folder which says episode 6 uh, which says protein engineering protein engineering so uh, into this folder i will just simply save a protein which says 6 cm4 okay so now what we will do is that we will open this in ucsf chimera so i will simply type chimera and uh, i will just go to files i will go to open and in this i will choose the folder of my choice which is episode 6 protein engineering i will open this and i will just click on the 6 cm4 okay so this is the protein that we are dealing with right now <coughs> what we can simply do is that we don't want ligands over here at all so we will remove all the ligands okay so i will just click on all non-standard uh, ligands in this protein and i will just go to select and i will just go to actions atoms and bond and i will just delete it so what we have done over here is that we have completely removed all the ligands okay now the next thing that we need to do is to identify the amino acid which is d114 okay so we will just go to this favorites option okay and we will go to this option which says sequence so as soon as you press on this sequence a, ta a table like this will come in front of you okay and you just scroll on the amino acid the sequence which has been shown onto your computer screen so if i just keep my mouse cursor on the c okay it will show over here just focus over here onto this window uh, the num number of amino acid will be represented okay so for i think this d will be 114 aspartate so as you can see this as soon as i keep my cursor on this d aspartate has been shown over here so i will just go over here i will just press on this d and i will simply click on this d if i click on this d then probably it will select the entire protein so that is not what you have to do 
okay what you have to do is to press mouse button just beside d and move it across like you are selecting it like this so let me do this again so uh, let me just do it for any other amino acid so if i want to select this s i will keep my mouse cursor keep it pressed and slide it over a little then it will select a amino acid which is there and the selection will be represented over here in the protein as well so uh, for aspartate 114 i will just select over here okay so it has selected the aspartate as if i keep my mouse cursor over it it is showing at the bottom over here aspartate 114 okay for now i'm simply minimizing it and i'm just zooming it a little so that you can uh, see what is happening okay and what i will do is that as i've selected a particular or a single amino acid i will change its color so that you can um, easily identify the amino acid that we are playing around with so we'll go to actions and go to color and for now we will uh, keep it a yellow color so whenever you see this is a yellow color then um, make sure that we are working with this amino acid which is aspartate located at position 114 which is a very crucial amino acid for the activity of this protein okay so suppose if you want to down regulate this protein what we can do is that we can simply replace this with some unwanted or uh, not identical amino acid over here okay uh, so i will go to this clear selection okay so before we do that there is one more thing that i want to explain over here is that uh, you can select a particular amino acid by the help of mouse and the control button in this chimera so what you do is you see press control button like this control button and with the left click on to your regular mouse press on any place of this amino acid like this okay so once you have selected that keep the control button pressed and press the up arrow once again it will select the entire amino acid Okay, then you can change its color, you can play around with it, whatever you want to do, you can do with it. If you press the control button and keep the up arrow or press the up arrow once again, it will select the entire uh, beta helix or alpha helix, sorry. And if you do it once again, control button and up arrow, it will select the entire protein. So this is how it works. So you just, you just select a particular amino acid over here. Now we want to replace this amino acid. So for that, we will go to tools structure editing is the option and then over here there is an option which says rotamers okay so it is saying that we have selected the amino acid which is aspartate we want to change it aspartate to which amino acid so you just press on it once keep the mouse button pressed and um, what we will do is that we will select it with some kind of uh, neutral amino acid like alanine okay so we'll just select alanine and simply press ok okay so what it has show done it has simply replaced the amino acid okay so this is one way that you can do it okay or we'll select the entire amino acid so i've selected this amino acid <coughs> we'll go to tools uh i will go to the option which is structure editing and now let me change this amino acid to something else so i'll just go to rotamers and to alanine i will uh, say tryptophan so i will go to tryptophan okay so now as soon as i press on tryptophan okay which is a complex or which has a bulkier r chain of the amino acid what it is trying to show me a probable possibilities where the side chain can be okay so all these lines that you see with the gray color it shows the probability or the possibility where the side chain of the amino acid can occupy the space okay so for each of this orientation there is a probability given so for each orientation or for each location which has been represented over here there is a number of possibilities that exist okay so for the first option which shows over here the probability is 0.2% means the probability is 22% that it can occupy that space inside the active site okay bigger the number or closer the number to 1 it is better 
okay further away you go from 1 and close to 0 that probability is not actually going to be fruitful uh, it will make the protein unstable so what you do is you you select the uh, option which has the maximum probability over here so you just click on the one which says 0 0.22 okay so it has selected one of the orientation where the uh, R group of amino acid can occupy the space if I just click on the second it will just show where it can uh, so like this it can also occupy the space but the probability is less it is only 15 percent okay like this the probability is only 10 percent okay so as you go down the probability is getting less and less and less so as I click on zero so this orientation is absolutely not possible because the uh, probability is zero so we'll choose the one which has the maximum probability which is 22 percent and we will click on ok so now what we have done is that we have manually uh, mutated the protein and after doing the mutation what you can do is you can just go to file and then you can save this PDB into the same folder like uh, 6 cm4 and you write mutated okay so you can take this 6 cm4 mutated protein and do the docking as uh, i have explained in my episode 1 and episode 2 so if you are not familiar with how to do docking you just go back to my uh, previous playlist and check episode 1, episode 2, episode 3 where I have strictly talked about docking and you can try to dock this uh, protein which is a mutated protein. Okay, so this is how you can do a manual mutations into the uh, active site of the protein. Okay, so thank you.